plasma versus LCD. It's a common topic in the world of HDTV. And though we have written numerous articles on the subject, we'll be covering some of the most common differences in this video editorial. While both technologies may look similar at first glance, they are vastly different in the way they operate. Plasma televisions are made up of pixels that each contain live red, green, and blue phosphors. And each pixel is an individual light that is controlled by an electric charge. This gives plasma its unique off-angle viewing property, where the picture retains its brightness and contrast until you're so far off to the side that you can't see the picture anymore. With LCDs, the light for the TV is produced by a fluorescent or LED backlight, and the pixels on the screen are composed of twisting mnemonic crystals that produce the picture by blocking the backlight. You may hear LCD televisions referred to as LED TVs these days, but it's actually the same technology, just with LED backlighting rather than traditional fluorescent backlighting. Because plasma televisions produce their own light per pixel, they have traditionally performed better in both black level and contrast, which also leads to improved color performance. However, recently top quality LCD televisions with improved panels can manipulate the backlighting to produce comparable contrast. The contest for which produces the best black levels in contrast really depends upon the individual TV model. Color accuracy and rendition has historically been more consistent in a plasma television. While this is still true today, LCD manufacturers have improved colors to make them more realistic and accurate. LCD TVs deliver superior performance in the areas of brightness and peak white. LED backlighting can deliver a very bright picture and is especially good for brightly lit rooms, except for side viewing angle issues. With fast-moving action scenes, LCDs can fall behind the plasma technology due to the speed response of the twisting crystals. LCD manufacturers have taken steps to cure this issue with higher refresh rates and lower response times, but a high-end plasma can be superior for fast action. The quality of the TV's video processing engine can be more important in this area than whether the television is LCD or plasma-based. In the energy usage category, LCD televisions usually win out pretty handily with automatic backlighting control and LED backlighting. Even large LCDs can use very little energy, especially when compared to the power consumption of large plasma televisions. However, when it comes to actual dollars and cents, you're really only looking at $1 to $2 per month savings for a large LED backlit LCD TV. The picture mode settings and contrast level setup can actually determine more about how much energy you use than the technology employed. A lower contrast setting will use less power. So how long do these plasma or LCD TVs last? Manufacturers of both technologies claim 100,000 hours. Of course, this is with very conservative picture settings. But regardless, even half of this figure equates to about 28 years at five hours a day of use. So we doubt if this will be an issue for you. From a value standpoint, plasma has been leading the way for the past few years with lower prices and an equal size and quality comparison. But this area is getting closer every year. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the differences between these competing TV technologies. And if you'd like to learn more about the subject, please read the full article on either plasma or lcdtvbuyingguide.com.